Hey guys, it's Kiri here. I'm gonna do a little video for you guys about how I prepare for performance. So there's a lot of little um, tricks and tips I've learned along the way from different professionals, from different dancers. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I do my makeup and um, some different hairstyles and just some little tips that you can use um, for before you go on stage. Um, I remember one tip that I uh, really love that I got from a ballroom dancer was castor oil. So I always carry like a little bit of uh, castor oil. I put it into, you know, like a little hotel bottle because it comes in a big bottle like this and you don't want to take a huge bottle of castor oil with you. And you only need just a little bit like this. And um, it's supposed to be good for your hair and your skin and everything like that, but also on the bottom of your shoes. If you put a little bit of casserole on the bottom of your, sh of your shoes, you can still turn, but you uh, have a little bit more grip. So it's a great thing for, um, all you need is just a little bit. Um, so many times I've been uh, at a show and there's a really slippery stage and I share my casserole with a bunch of um, dancers and they're always amazed. It's like, it's just sticky enough, but um, you can still turn. Uh, it's a great thing to have. Um, also, right before I go on stage, not right before, but as I'm putting on my makeup, I usually have like some kind of chocolate. I remember when I was um, a young dancer, one of my idols at ABT, American Ballet Theater, came uh, before our show at uh, the ABT summer program. She came and gave us chocolates and she said, every time I go on stage, before I go on stage, I eat chocolate. Um, it's got like fat and protein and sugar and it's delicious and um, it kind of gives you, yeah, if you're, if you're nervous or your stomach is unsettled, it's something that you can eat that gives you quick energy and it kind of stays with you. So I really like um, having chocolate or if I'm, if I haven't, if I'm a little shaky, I have salt. I put a little bit of salt on my tongue and that uh, helps my blood sugar, I don't know. Maybe it's a wives tale, but it helps for me. So either chocolate or something salty. Um, so I'm just gonna start with my makeup. I do pretty simple makeup and then show you some, some different hairstyles. So I just put my foundation on just with my fingers. I use this MAC foundation, I love it. Um, I don't wear makeup that often, but of course on stage, you really do have to um, wear makeup to make your, make your features visible. Um, so what you're trying to do is not look good in, in person, like close, you're not gonna look good close, um, but you're trying to make your features bigger and visible um, from afar. So it's definitely not makeup that you're gonna do every day. Um, it's definitely something that is reserved for the stage. Okay, so just put on foundation like this. Um, and usually as I get ready for show, um, I'll listen a bunch of times to the music that I'm dancing to so that I can really start visualizing um, what, what I'm going to dance. There's been some studies that show that um, visualization can be almost just as important as uh, actual rehearsal. So I'm going to put my hair back. I know that looks intense, but it'll it'll look it'll read well from from the state. So you can kind of measure it and see how far you want the lash. I usually want the lash to start right there, a little bit past my you know where the white starts. Um, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the eyelash, just a little bit, so that. It's not sticking out too much. And then one trick, one great trick that I learned uh, is to put glue on both sides of the eyelash. So I usually just um, put a little bit, you can use a hairpin if you want, or just your, put some on your finger and you're gonna put it on one side. So just kind of draw it all the way across very lightly and then 
as you let that dry, you're gonna do the same on your actual eyes. Let me see if I can do this here. Okay, so um, another tip, because I was struggling with this one. Sometimes when they're really flat, the best thing to do is wrap it around like a pencil or something like this so it has a curve to it. And then as you, as you do the, the rest, right, as you put glue here, it's uh, getting a more circular shape. And it should be easier to put on. So again, I'm putting glue not only on the, the lash, but also on my, on my uh, eyelash, on my actual eyelid. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to chop this just a little bit after it's been wrapped up there for a second. I'm going to run it through the glue. So I just have it on my hand there. Just run it through and let it dry for a second. It's always good to let it get a little sticky and that should help you uh, get your eyelashes on well. Eyelashes are always the hardest part for me. So let it dry a little bit, curl it again, and uh, just be patient. Make sure you get a little extra glue on the very edges so that it's not going to fall off. You don't have like, you know, eyelashes hanging off at the end of the night, which I definitely have had. So I think we got it. Nice. Okay. And there we have it. So I've got two eyelashes on now. And uh, just make sure the, the corners are down. Sometimes they pop up. So press it in there. Okay. Now the rest is downhill from here. I'm going to fill in the... Um, little missing pieces with a little bit of liquid liner. And again, like I said before, this makeup is not supposed to look good from close up. It's gonna be very good from far from good, good from far, okay? can bring your wings out and yeah that's about it try to make them as equal as possible but then again you know it's not gonna matter that much okay so got our eyelashes on can always push them up afterwards you know what I mean once they get in there just to kind of fill in your eyebrows You can also use a pencil if you like. The stage lights are very bright. It's very important to do contouring that, um, so you don't look washed out. Um, so I have, doesn't have to be fancy, I think it's pretty cheap. Um, but it should be a fairly dark color. So um, right at where you feel like your cheekbones go in. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it, try not to make it too low, but kind of go, Make a fish face, duck face, and then just kind of fill it in where naturally the light would make shadows on your face. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to go up to your uh, temples and do the same thing, and down to your jawbone and do the same thing. And then you can draw that down the side of your cheeks and just kind of press it in. Mm -hmm. So you are giving yourself a little bit of contour there so the, the lights don't totally wash you out. Because um, what happens is the stage lights are so bright 
that um, it, it doesn't, there's no shadow on your face. So that's why you really have to exaggerate your eye makeup and your, your contouring. Um, don't go out like this because it doesn't look good from close up. This kind of makeup does not look good close up. It's meant for the stage. I am not a makeup artist for everyday makeup. And then I usually just take the same color, uh, same contour, and I put it on my eye sockets because that's gonna get washed out too. So um, just go in like this and right where your eyes would make a shadow anyways, um, just add a little bit more shadow. Mm -hmm. um, and you can go heavy on this because again, the lights are gonna wash this out a lot. Uh huh. The other thing that I like um, is I, I like to have a white pencil and you can always do like your waterline here if you like, if you're into that. Um, you can do a little white line here. This is very kind of ballet. Um, a lot of times ballet dancers take this white line out, kind of just opens up the eyes. Um, and then you can also do kind of like a highlight here, just like very lightly kind of highlight here. You can also do this with like a, a light eyeshadow of any kind, but I like to have a pencil because it seems more precise. So just kind of come on under here and highlight just a little bit and then rub it in just a little bit. Um, so you, you highlight your, your brow bones because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get highlights and low lights. Um, you can even put a little bit here if you like. Some people put a line on top of the black. Anywhere where you feel like you want a little bit of highlight, sometimes in the middle of the eye, you know, just play with it. Uh, wherever you want a little bit of highlight and it doesn't really matter if it's not very well blended because like I said It's gonna get washed out um, Let's see Then we go on to just a little bit of blush um, some people put um, like a Highlighter too here um, you can totally do that, but I just do like a little bit of blush here and a little bit of blush here Maybe a little bit on your nose. Maybe a little bit on your forehead. Okay. Ah, I forgot. You can do, um, can also do a line underneath your eyes. So where's that eyeliner? Um, and you can do this with liquid or a uh, pencil, but um, generally do like a little line from the middle outwards just to kind of get the the bottom so from the middle outwards and again it's very light but it will it will add more dimension to your eyeballs on stage now the last thing is lips and i usually either use a pencil or i use this kind of like lip stain so depending on what it is today, I'm just going to use a, a pencil because that's what I've been enjoying lately. Uh, and you can just take it right outside your lip line. Just a little bit bigger than where your lips naturally are. Uh, so you can kind of exaggerate your features. Now, I know that probably this is not correct makeup. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I do for stage. Uh, what I've always done for stage makeup. And then you can add colors and glitter and, and whatever you want on top of that. But that's kind of the basics 
of what I do. Um, and then for hair, you have a few different options. If it's like a zook or something, um, I usually just put the top half up and keep the bottom half so you can have movement um, here. You can, if it's something like tangle, I might do like a French twist. So um, you can style the top how you like, you know. And then you pull it back to the nape of your neck here and you just twist, twist, twist. And as you twist, you're gonna pin with open pins. Um, so I usually get either open pins or open a bobby pin and just start putting them here and then pulling them across. So you get like a nice tight grip at the bottom there. And then just keep going up, doing the same thing. Pull it across, take an open pin, stick it in, and then really just pull it tight across and then stick it in there. And you're gonna go all the way up to the top. Now the hardest part is the top. Um, and I've never been super good at this, but you're just gonna twist it and then tuck it in. So after you get to the top, you're gonna keep twisting, keep twisting, and then tuck in, tuck in the little tail that you've got and try to just tuck in all the rest that looks crazy and pin it down. So, and you may need some, uh, you may need some hairspray for this. But again, I'm just going in, taking it, taking a chunk, and then pushing it in. And uh, just trying to make it not look so crazy on top. Okay. So then you can kind of, again, sometimes style the front. You can pull up the front if you want. Um, put some hairspray in it, take it across. Do whatever you want. But that's kind of basic, like, French twist. Um, you can also do, I mean, we did a lot of buns in ballet. So um, basic bun is just the same. You can do it high, you can do it low. You can, um, you know, you can change the top if you want. So sometimes we, we pull the top together like this and then style this later. So I'm gonna take this and just take it out of the way, get it out of the way. And, uh, Pull the rest up. Just put it into a ponytail like this. If you want a high bun, you put a high ponytail. If you want a low bun, you put a low ponytail. And uh, I usually take it into two, two strips. So I separate it like this. And I twist, 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 twist. And then I'm gonna take it around. So one goes around the other one and then they kind of come together, twist them together. When you have short hair, it's gonna to twist together pretty soon. Take them around like this. And if you wanna put a hairnet so it's it's um, more secure or more clean, you can do that. And then just take the open pins and go around, pinning it down all the way around. Pin it down. And remember, this only really works very well with open pins. Um, it's going to be hard to do with closed pins. So if you have a bobby pin, you can just open it like this. And then it's an open pin. Not really the same, but you know, you get the idea. So with like four or five pins, well-placed pins, you're like pretty secure, right? And then you can do whatever you want with the top part. Um, whether you wanna like do kind of like a poof or whether you wanna do like a little twist. Um, sometimes for a tango or something, I'll, I'll twist it and then just keep, keep twisting, keep twisting, keep twisting. You know, something like that and then just pin it back. Or you can do, um, some people like to do kind of like a hairspray this, hairspray it, and then put it up and you give like a little poof there. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, then right before the show, 
you do like a little centering, a little calming down, and you pray for the best and get on stage. So that's how I prepare for the show. Chocolate, castor oil, special attention to the eyelashes and everything else. Just make it happen. Bye, guys.